G'day. Well, it's a bit of a miserable day today. I'm stuck inside, so I thought I'd um, kind of do a little bit of what I can in this cinema room. And to be honest with you, I am sick of looking at my front of house of the cinema like this. Um, as you can see, I've actually cleaned up a little bit, so I've got rid of a lot of the stuff around there. What I'm thinking I might do today um, is maybe put some insulation in the between the studs there on the wall, all that framing, um, and just clean up around here a bit more. Um, I'm thinking about trying to get rid of all of this stuff that's down below there, and uh, then I can start building my proper, um, you know, shelf for the um, for that. You can see that center speaker there. Well, that's not actually the shelf that it's going to be sitting on. The actual shelf that it sits on. Um, is going to be down by that, um, down by here, basically. It's going to be that height. That's where the masking is for the 170-inch CinemaScope screen. So I have to build another shelf that is um, around that height. But um, I'm not going to be doing that in this episode. I'm just going to clean up a little bit and just do a bit of um, insulation work because it's getting cold now. So um, at night time in here, it's freezing. So I want to do this wall and I want to do this wall over here and uh, just get get something done just so it looks like I'm progressing because things are stalled a little bit and then I will start on the ceiling again but um, anyway I'm just going to set the camera down and uh, start doing some stuff I just thought I'd mention what I was doing but um, this will be time lapsed probably I just need a bit of footage of me doing this all right let's begin I am going to put on a TV show, Blood and Bone. That's what I'll be working to.
Right, so this has taken a slight turn. I wasn't expecting to do this today. It's actually the following day. But um, yeah, I decided that I can't really do anything with this screen frame in the way. And um, so I've taken the bottom, you know, future masking off. But uh, what I've done, what I've decided to do, because you see, remember I put these, I put this kind of aluminium handlebar type thing on there so I could move it by myself. The plan was so I could actually move this screen. I was actually going to put it over against this wall over here. That was the plan. But unfortunately, I've got so much stuff against that wall, it's gonna be pretty difficult to do that. So what I thought I would do is put the hinges on and then I could hinge it up to the ceiling and get it out of the way. Um, that's how my, my screen is going to be in the future. That's how I'm gonna get access to my speakers and behind the screen um, is by you know tilting it on a hinge. But uh, I've just done it very dodgily. I, it's probably as close as I'm gonna get it anyway, but uh, at least this should be able to pivot now and I should be able to get this up to the up to the um up to the ceiling so this is going to be the very first time i've done this so i thought it's a bit of a momentous occasion i might just move the camera out of the way i'll bring it all the way back here set you on this the arm of this red chair and i will actually oh, is that too far away is that too far probably so i'll move you down to this chair All right, so I am going to just grab it and tilt it, I guess. Listen, if I put you there, at least you get to see one side of the screen. So I'm actually still gonna see if I'm, I can see what this is like to kind of lift up. So I just gotta make some room. Pull this speaker out of the way. I have to move this subwoofer out of the way. get to that one day <laughs> move this step ladder out in fact I think it's going to come up to about here hopefully um, I'm going to have to tie it to the ceiling somehow oh in fact am I going to is this going to be in the way I think this is going to be in the way well I can't actually move that can I um, how am I going to do this Put it up that way. Is that going to work? I'll just move it along there, maybe. Oh, listen, let's just put it there for the time being. And just see how far in the way that is. All right, so I'm just going to remove the supports from underneath. Move the step ladder. push the supports out <laughs> okay it's just hanging there it's just hanging there all right so let's give this a shot see what happens oh look at that <laughs> look at that how good is that it is hitting that um that clamp at the end there i'll have to do something about that but wow Awesome. In fact, I'm going to move that clamp now because I want to see how far I can get up to the ceiling. Ah, oh, come on. Just move this over. Let's see. In fact, I think that's gonna be in the way again. Um, how can I do this, guys? I could sink a screw in there. I don't wanna sink screws in there just yet. Doesn't matter if I putty it up later, I guess. Um, come on, come on, Isky. Think, boy, think. In 
fact, let me just lift this up and see how much I'm out by. Man, it slides up, hey. <laughs> wow. In fact, I might not have to, I don't know, that's, it is touching those clamps, but that's okay. Oh, you know what I could do? I've just worked it out. I've got a clamp on the other side, on the other side of the, on this opposite wall, but it's one of the smaller clamps. So if I replace that with a smaller clamp, if the handles aren't as big, that might, might get away with it. We might get away with that. So let's try that out. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, let's get this up. Let's see what we've got. It's really solid. Like it's not flexing either way at all. It um, feels good. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's excellent. But I'll tell you what, there's a bit of weight in it. There's a bit of weight in that. That's okay. All right, so just for now, how am I gonna keep this off the up in the air. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get some planter hooks. I wonder if we can use something like these planter hooks just to hold it up, you know, up on the sides, maybe um, up to the... Uh, up to the soffit sides here. I have a feeling I'm going to have to um, widen this smaller. And I can't do that with my puny little hands. I might have to go and get a pair of vice grips. <sighs> that might work. What do you think? Might work. I'm planning on actually doing something like this anyway um, when I need to lift the this, this screen. I know I'm going to have gas struts, but uh, just in case they don't take the weight, I'm pretty sure they will. I mean, these gas struts are designed to take, I mean, this weight here would probably be maybe 10 kilos. Me lifting this up like this, not even. Yeah, maybe 10 kilos. All right, so if I lift that up there, can I move it? I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, let's take three. Try again, or we'll take two. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'll show you. Awesome, can you see that? I don't know if you can make it out. 
I now have my 180 inch 16 9 screen on hinges and it is kind of hinge tilted up towards the ceiling. You can see it's probably a good 250 mil below that soffit. I don't know whether, you know, in the future I want it to go all the way up to the top or just on an angle. I quite like that angle look. But um, anyway, this is just temporary, remember? I just did this to get the screen out of the way so I had access to behind the screen. But I'm glad I did. I've been wanting to see what this is gonna look like for such a long time, months and months, and finally did it. And I'm really happy with it. There's heaps of headroom, even at that height where the tilt is. Um, just walking back and forth. Man, it's massive, this screen. It's so huge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this. Remember this thing that I put on so I could actually move this around. I put that on because I wasn't tall enough. I had to um, kind of carry it on my own. So I put that on and kind of so I could shuffle it and move it around from one wall to the other. But uh, now that I don't have to move it around, I'm gonna pull that off. And uh, then the next thing I'm gonna do is move all of these containers full of circuit boards, find somewhere to put those and then I will remove the existing shelving that that speaker is sitting on. And then I can probably start um, putting in some insulation. But before I do the insulation, I am going to kind of do some drilling of these studs down the bottom so um, I can run some electrical in the future. I've got to prep this thing now. I don't want to pull this um, insulation out again. So we'll get all that happening and then we're going to end this video. But uh, for now, let's get back into it. There, haven't seen this for a very long time. Got a nice, almost blank canvas. Now the problem I have is these things. These are the um, these are the front vertical framing pieces that were holding that um, shelf on. Check this out. Now, if I show you up there. I don't know if you can see that it's screwed onto the other side of that um, uh, joist and most of them, I think two of them I can get off but the other ones are so, they're just in the wrong spot and I don't know if I can get them off. Not just that but they're incredibly tight so I have to do it by hand so I don't know, I have to work something out but that's a hassle. But um, there we go, I've cleaned that up so I am going to now um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything about these vertical joists just yet or maybe just drill some holes for my electrical but I'll work it out. All right well it's actually a week and a half later. Um, I never did do the drilling like I said I was going to so I'll probably do that tomorrow but um, I got back into it today and what I started doing today was completely different. I thought to myself while I have access to this back wall um, I am going to um, put some insulation between the first joist there and uh, that's what I've done in the last you know couple of hours uh, I've put up the um, the framing on either side that actually holds it in but uh, what I'll also be doing is putting carpet underlay 
So if you remember when we did the soffit, remember this soffit here, the curved soffit? I already put the insulation there and I actually held it in with carpet underlay. And uh, that was excellent. It worked out so well. Um, luckily for me, I have already cut the majority of my carpet underlay out. Hopefully I've got enough to do the entire ceiling. If not, I'll have to go back to the dump and you know find some more or get it on Gumtree or somewhere else. But uh, that's the plan. I'm just going to kind of put some carpet underlay up there now and call it a day. And tomorrow I'll get back into um, I'll get back into drilling these holes and uh, putting some insulation in because I got the correct insulation from Bunnings um, yesterday. It was a special order, so I'm glad I've got that. But um, okay, leave it with me. I'll see you in a tick.